Greetings once again, fellow girls, guys, and gaming fans. This is Small Archangel. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 14.6. This is the plan. We are going to stay here in our temporary base, so called temporary base, uh, until the day 21 horde has been, which will be tomorrow. Uh, so we're going to fortify this place up as much as we can. Oops, in preparation for that. Um, and then after that, we are going to go to our other base, whoops, the other side of the POI, and we're actually going to try and stay there, uh, either by, you know, sort of camping out temporarily one of the buildings around there, or by sort of digging out a little niche for ourselves there or something, um, because that way we're going to get a lot more done. I don't want to spend too much in the time, where, you know, in, uh time or resources on upgrading this base here because yeah it's there we go that'll do for the time being we've got some of this come here we've got an anvil which is nice too uh yeah we don't want to spend too much time and resources on this joint because uh we're not going to be staying here for very long so priorities okay let's just grab that down and we'll put uh, some more metal in there as well. I need to put some more iron in there if at all possible because we want to make some, we've got quite a lot of iron in there actually, which is good. And now we've got an anvil in there, we can actually make some iron bars. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Um, at least I assume we can. Time was when you could make these out of iron pipes, but you cannot now. So uh, let's see, how many can we make? 74, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure we want to make that many, to be honest. Let's just put... Ugh, I can't even do it now. Okay. Iron bars. Let's make 50. Okay. There we go. Uh, we've got quite a lot in there, but we're not going to be going too far afield at this point. Uh, I need to make some cobblestone rocks as well. Um, let's see. Can I make any of those at the moment. I don't think I have because we need some more stone and we don't have any. So our first task today is to uh, grab as much, as many resources as we can. Uh, we need to finish off this platform here. Now you can see I've got, yeah, <laughs> three at the end there, which we haven't managed to up upgrade. We haven't managed to turn to cobblestone. And this we want to ideally uh, upgrade to um, concrete as well. But the downstairs walls are the priority. We really need to be able to upgrade those to concrete. Because um, otherwise we're going to... Yeah, let's get that back in place. Keep our home base secure. I'm going to drop off my wooden frames here. Because we don't need them right now. Grab that water. Free up a space. And then off we go. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to make a few axes, but I always tend to carry the uh, means for making those anyway. Right, now we should have around here plenty of sand. You can see there's lots of sand rounded about. We've got a great big patch of it here, in fact. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark a save point here, and I'm going to call it clay and sand pit. Uh, I will just call it clay and sand. That's absolutely fine. And we will head in that direction. Uh, we've got a fair amount of... Oops, let's not run into our own spikes. Got a fair amount of, uh, sort of stone at the moment because we got some from sort of mining out our uh, base. Uh, the other base. It's getting quite confusing, this. But we will just take this rock as well. There we go. And then I do have <coughs> a shovel that we made earlier so we'll take a bit of clay for a start off and then we do need stone and we need sand as well and the more of all of that we can gather the more upgrading we're going to be able to do today okay we've actually got nearly three full stacks of clay now which is fantastic let's just see we've got three stacks now but yeah we have and more so that's great now there's some sand here may as well grab that and I'm not sure if the shovel is the best thing to stand it may well be seems to work pretty well so if we can get a stack of sand or so that's gonna help our course When we build our other base, we're we're going to need we're going to need wood more than anything else, and we're going to need an absolute truckload of it 
Um, unless, well, unless we can build it out of rebar, but that's not really going to happen. Anyway, phase one's not going to require too much in the way of resources, which was kind of my plan all along. Okay, let's see if we can take this wood. May as well have the wood, make useful. And this grass also. How are we doing for sand? We've got 410, okay. We don't seem to get quite so much sand for our efforts. Whoops, there goes my shovel. Let's see if we can make a new one. And we should make a much better quality water here as well, hopefully. Um, that has I've got a full stack of sand now, so I guess that'll do. There we go, there's our new one, which is a bit better quality. And we've earned ourselves a couple of upgrades as well in our mining tools. But now I think it's a tiny bit... Head back to the shack and uh, see to our forge. We'll end up with a, an army of screamers showing up. And screamers can bring in more screamers once more, so... That's obviously uh, wonderful, and we're all really looking forward to dealing with that. Um, but uh, we've probably done as much as we need to do down here now. It'll have made those iron bars for it. Yes, uh, we've actually got some iron fragments that we can put in there, but the other thing that actually I want to do, let's just turn that off. Has it done my iron bars? It has not made any iron bars. Now, did I or di did I not say make 50 iron bars? I really, really did. And it really, really didn't, did it? Very, very unhelpful. Okay. But while it's doing that, we will get it smelting. So bring on the screamers. We'll get it smelting some more iron. Now, in here, I have got quite a lot, actually, as you can see, which is great. We need some more casino tokens before we can scrap those down. Um, but we may as well. It's not going to do any harm unless they take up too much room. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the these. Now, we're going to need two of those to make ourselves some uh, bellows and what have you for our forge at the other base. But the rest of them, I'm assuming we're going to be able to melt them down in our forge. Time was you could do all sorts of stuff with these. Now, they're, they're melting down, aren't they? Yes, they are, I think. Um, but, uh, yeah, the time was you could use iron pipes for all sorts of things. You could craft iron bars with them. Uh, you could make grills with them for making your bacon and eggs and all the rest of it. Um, but no longer, unfortunately. Uh, now, yeah, the best thing we can do probably is just to melt them down like that. Okay, now we need stone. Because we need to get some cobblestone rocks together. So let's get out here and get hitting some rocks. It seems like a ridiculous thing to do, given that uh yeah we've got a load of mining to do at our other base but as i say life is too short at the moment the hordes really keep us on our toes and uh, life is simply too short the span between two feral hordes is too short to be doing much in the way of traveling which is why i have got a map full of treasure chests and supply drops and things which i haven't even attempted to go and pick up because i can't really afford the time to make the journey once we're properly um, settled and we've got our base kind of under control and everything, then we'll have time to do stuff like that. And I'm assuming they won't despawn in the meantime. If they do, heck, we can pick up new quests. I can keep the pieces of paper as well. It's just while we were nomadic, it was not really going to work ever so well. So, let's have a couple of these, actually. That would make sense. There's a zombie over there. He's the first one I've seen all day. It's suspiciously quiet around here. I'm, I'm guessing that we still have the mechanic where, you know, in a given area we can kind of kill off the zombies and it'll take a little while for them to come back, but you can still end up with hordes of them or small hordes of them, groups of them, passing through randomly at night. They just seem to 
get the wanderlust at night. Okay, let's see how much stone we got now. Uh, we've got 774. Let's get a full stack. And then we might have to grab ourselves some wood as well, just because we're very low on wood. Well, how about that? We're now level 21. That's great. Okay, so I've nearly got a full stack here. A few chunks more should do it. Oops. Might as well have that destroyed stone. There's still stuff we can do with it. Now, we're going to need gravel. We are going to need gravel as well. But before we do that, we're going to need to uh, craft some of that. I want some cobblestone first. Uh, now, how many can we make max? Oh, an absolute ton. Well, that's lovely, but let's just, oh, let's do this the fast way, shall we? Let's make 200 and see how we do with that. We're not going to need ever so much because, uh, basically, there we go. We're not going to need ever so much because I don't think we've got too much in the way of uh, repairing to do, but we would like to do some upgrading. You can see where we've done a bit of upgrading from inside the base. See, there's a bit of repairing we need to do there. This is where I could do with my wood frames, actually, so I could get across to repair those. Now, where's my cobblestone rocks? Here they are. Can I reach these over here from here? I don't even need those in my hand, do I? Or do I? Oh, we're going to have to go in for that, I think. But I do need my wood frames to be able to repair the outside of this base anyway. And if we want to upgrade all these, we're probably going to have to do most of it from the outside just because we can't actually reach from the inside. Now, I think I need this in point of fact. Now, we could probably put our forge off now. We could probably turn that off now. So let's do that before the witches show. Okay, let's just turn that off. We've got our iron bars. Wow, I've got a seriously large amount of crap in my <laughs> in my inventory. Okay then, first and foremost. Oh, come on. You see, that would have to do from the outside because the ladder's in the way. Okay, I'm having problems with the ladders. Don't you just love that? All right. Pretty expensive on the rocks, but hopefully we'll have enough. Excellent. Right, now where's those wood frames? If I can even pick them up, let's just put some stuff away. Um, let's see, what else can I put in there? That can, we can, they can turn that into gra gravel. Uh, probably need, uh, we'll probably need a few more. Um, a few more of them to be able to do that. Let's put some clay back in there, because we're not going to need all of this. And we'll put that iron away as well, because we're not going to need that either. Okay, there's my wood frames. Right. Now. Can I place a wood frame there? It would seem not. That's annoying. Up, oh, had it then. Okay, let's go down there. Go on. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Repairs needed. Oh, and repairs underneath that one. Okay, any others? Yeah, these ones are pretty trashed here. Oh, there we go. And was there some here as well? I don't remember. Okay, we may as well do this as well. I'm hoping that this is, yeah, we're going to need concrete for that. I'm hoping that this uh, area here is going to, you know, benefit from, um, I'm hoping that we're going to, now can I repair that? Excellent. 
I'm hoping that this area here is going to be the bit where the zombies sort of attack again. Uh, I think they probably come towards where uh, the player is. <clears throat> literally towards where the player is so that would suggest that they will come in this general direction uh, that's not flagstone so we can't upgrade that and I haven't got any iron on me to upgrade that okay let's get back up now why did I do that nerd polling would be the be best way at this point there we are Okay, we could probably do with upgrading, um, you know, all of this side, really. So I might just have to do the same thing with our wood blocks here. Let's have some light on the subject. That one's pretty battered. There we are. And we're hot. I'm not bothered. Just gonna have to put up with it, dear. We've got important work to do. Okay, I think that's about as much as we're going to be able to do in there for the minute. So let's just close that up again. There we are. And we'll go see uh, if we can do some from the outside around the back. Uh, the zombies are probably going to be more interested in the walls. Now, did I drop, just drop that? I did not want to drop my wrench. In fact, we could probably do with repairing the wrench. Really? Okay, let's see if we can get across these. Yeah, without killing yourself. No, we can't because of that. Okay, fine. Well, we're just going to have to see if we can reach from here then, aren't we? Probably those bits aren't going to be the... Worst affected the bits underneath the spikes, not unless the zombies manage to destroy the spikes, which is always a possibility. There we go, so a bit of a repair job to some of those spikes as well. And I've just leveled again, this is amazing, this is great. There we are, and we could probably do as well if we can with uh, upgrading this wood here too. These blocks here we're not going to be able to reach from the outside. Oh, and that needs a little bit of repairing as well. At this point I'm just doing as much as I can, really. I'm not sure if I can reach that without spiking myself. There we go. Okay, we've more or less gone all the way around with that now. Um, we've got a few wood blocks, which probably won't upgrade if we can manage it, especially these ones here. But we've got some iron we can do that with. Um, if I've got the materials, I might just do this. And then the parts of the this that can get punched by zombies at punchable height are defended. Okay. Oops. That's not what I meant either. And then we do have our iron bars here. And if I can get those, now this is the tricky part, of course. Let's just get them on the right elevation. Actually, it's probably easier to do this from the ground. I'm going to do that. And that is probably the only bit that we really need to worry about, because uh, I don't think the spider zombies are going to be 
very able to get up there. Um, I should perhaps put some spikes here and here and here just in case they try. But the main part that I'm worried about, and this, this helps me out as well because I'm less likely to sort of fall off the end now. The main part place I want to place these actually is around here. And again, it might actually be easier to do this from... Oh, but we can put them here actually. Um... Oh my gosh, that was really not what I meant. You are bleeding out. You're not kidding. That was stupid. And the most annoying thing is that I've damaged my own spikes. Not the wall. Oh, good grief. Talk about a fail. Okay, that'll do fine. We've got another bit of spikes to sort of replace there as well. Um, now, I've put one lot of iron bars there, but I'm actually not absolutely certain that that's where we want them. We might want them a bit higher up. Um, so I'm going to leave that for the minute, but we've got the iron bars so we can use those. I want to upgrade a few bits of wood downstairs and um, see if we can make some concrete. So let's just shut ourselves in for the night now. I want to put my... Is there room in there for those? There is just about. And place these in there as well. Do we have some iron? We do have some iron. We've got quite a bit actually. So I'll take some of that. And uh, we've already got six small stones left. Which is quite bad. Right, we should be able to upgrade these now. Just in case the zombies decide to have a go at coming in here. There we go, that feels a little more secure. Oh look, I missed a bit. Can we get the bit behind the, behind the fridge? We can. Excellent, there we go. There's this bit as well, but I honestly don't know that that's, you know, going to make much difference because that's kind of an interior wall anyway. Oh, there's a bit under the table, which I can reach. This is great. There we go. Night time. I've got the bit behind the, the fire already. Okay, let's see if we can make some concrete. Concrete mix. Let's see. How much can we make? Three. That's brilliant. So we need small stones for concrete mix, do we? Wow, well that explains why I can't make any. Um, <clears throat> we need small stones, crushed sand and cement for concrete mix. That's kind of changed. Okay, so we're going to need to get some more cement, obviously. Let's just... There, we can do, we can do some now because I've, I've cancelled that. We've got quite a lot of gravel, so let's see how many we can make now. We can make 143, so that's great. So we'll start doing that. In the meantime, do I have any iron left? I have a little bit of iron left. Let's... We've upgraded that door already. We've leveled again. Amazing. We have the wood. We're going to do a bit of upgrading here as well because this next horde's a no nuts no point doing it there uh, this next horde's gonna include spitters oh how'd I miss that there we go let's just do that bit there and that bit there as well oh that's not quite the bit I'm in There we are. Now.
Okay, that's... I got them upgraded a little too. Okay, well, while we're out here, we may as well. There we go. We can upgrade this just to concrete. And I'm assuming if we had enough concrete, we could upgrade after that to reinforce concrete. Oh, look, we can upgrade our cobblestone to concrete too. Right, let me just... Get back up here. And we've run out, so we're going to have to get some more stone probably, and we're probably going to have to make some more concrete. Let's see, what are we out of? We have run out of... We have not run out of cement, we have run out of some stones, so basically we're going to need to get some more stone to be able to upgrade any more of this. Uh, can I reach to upgrade that? I can, and we can upgrade that also. So, there we go, we've done a fair amount of upgrading today, but we are not quite there yet. Um, so I do hope you enjoyed this episode. We're going to leave it here now. And then in the next episode, we will probably be doing yet more upgrading of this base. And then, of course, we will be facing the horde. And it'll be the, the huge horde or with the, uh, spitters. Yep, dogs, cops, wasps and all of them. Uh, so that'll be great fun. So I do hope you'll join me for that. And we'll hope that we, uh... There we go. We managed to survive the experience. Lovely. There we go. I think we're all more or, le more or less upgraded here now. So I'll just nerd pole out of here. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to let me know. Uh, hit that like button and I will see you next time. Until then, keep gaming, keep surviving and stay happy. Bye bye for now. <laughs>